From the governor's office down to the legislator, lawmakers are shocked, while others want to change how state and federal money is monitored. So far, we know that more than $4 million was funneled out of the Department of Human Services for six people's personal gain. As 12 News' as Alex Love reports, now it's turned into a scheme that's turned into something lawmakers have never seen. It makes Chris Epps look like a choir boy. Senator John Horn of Jackson not holding back his criticism of those put in place at the Department of Human Services and nonprofits like the Community Education Center accused of robbing the very people they're supposed to help. It's all about the money. And it's not about the money or the support that, that goes to the poor. It's about the contractors. It's about the providers. It's about the folks who is, is basically going to get rich off the system. Those arguments align with the indictments against Dr. Nancy New, head of the Mississippi Community Education Center. In one count, she's accused of transferring over $2 million of TANF funds from her nonprofit's account to her private business, New Learning Incorporated bank account, for her own use. The department privatized a lot of the so called delivery of services, and they still spent a lot of that money, but they spent it uh, for bogus purposes. Collaborating with then director of the Mississippi Department of Human Services, John Davis, Dr. New allegedly embezzled $25,000 in United States funds for herself when it was meant to stay in her nonprofit to help feed needy families. Davis is also named as asking Dr. New to use TANF funds to pay for Brett DiBiase's rehab at a Malibu facility. New allegedly claimed that money went to DiBiase for teaching drug classes with the company Restore 2 LLC. But those classes never happened, and the money paid for DiBiase's own drug treatment. For the last quarter of a century, we've seen uh, the punishment of the poor in Mississippi. We're still seeing all these gigantic contracts go out to making uh, other folks uh, very, very rich on the backs of the poor. Throughout the Capitol building, certain lawmakers are now calling for reform when it comes to monitoring where taxpayer funds go, aiding those in need, and regulating private contracts that put state funds in the hands of nonprofit organizations. As we proceed, we need to put safety nets in place to make sure that this doesn't happen again. But I'm encouraging my colleagues to join with me as we uh, ask for a hearing. What I wouldn't like to see is the kind of bill that the Senate Finance Committee took up yesterday, the bill to allow allowed our state auditor to go in and audit the, uh, the tax returns of poor people while these millionaires are walking away scot-free. It, it is shameful.